Good morning Aldersley, it's Wednesday the 20th of May and this is the Assembly delivered by Mrs Vernon. Before I start I just want to have a look back over yesterday's challenges that were set by Mrs Treble. Um, it was all about helping others so she sort of challenged you if you could help a sibling or another person with their work help parents or carers around the house or help a neighbour. Wonder how you got on with those. I'm sure all of you will have been able to help in some way um, and I hope that you're able to put the hashtag on there so that we could see them. The theme of the assembly today is um, respect. So the slide gives you a definition of respect to show consideration for the feelings, wishes, rights or traditions of someone or something and it's the way that we treat or think about someone we show respect by being kind and polite and when um, we are insulted or treating badly we feel we haven't been treated with respect and as it said in the definition you can respect things as well as people and we'll have a think about that a little bit later so ways that you can show respect um, think about how you treat others are you thoughtful about their feelings? Do you look out for other people, their property and the environment? And think about how you actually show that, particularly in these times of lockdown, particularly when we're thinking about people's thoughts and feelings. Um, when you're writing something, now you can't see people's facial expressions, you may interpret what they've written in one way when in fact they mean it in a jokey way but because you can't take those cues from the facial expressions you may misinterpret it so just be careful when you're writing things down that they're not open-ended or they're not open to interpretation um, and unless you can see somebody face to face you don't pick up on those cues these are just a selection of ways that you can show respect to other people. So some of them, things like, you know, being polite, being fair. Um, punctuality is a great way of showing respect. If somebody's invited you for something or you've got an appointment, if you show up on time, again, you're showing them that you're respecting their service, their time, um, that they're giving up for you and that you are reciprocating in that way. Caring, following rules. These are all different ways that you can show respect to others, listening to what they're saying, not cutting them off mid-sentence, um, being reliable, following rules. When we're in school, that is respectful, isn't it? When you follow the school rules and you walk one side of the corridor and you're not um, talking too much in, in um, the corridors. We need to always think about respecting ourselves. So if you respect yourselves and you stay true to your values, your opinions, your beliefs, then you are keeping that alive within you as well. Think about different sort of people, different things you can have respect for. So you can have respect for someone you admire. You might admire sportsmen, celebrities, politicians, authors, and you respect for them because they're doing something that you value and that you admire. You can have feelings for, um, sorry, you can have respect for somebody's feelings, their wishes or their rights. So that being tolerant of others and respecting that people often have different opinions to you. And you can have respect for things that aren't human. So things that are living so you can respect the environment, your belongings, property, those sorts of things. Think about why we should have respect. So think about all the things that you probably dislike. So people being rude to us, ignoring us, hurting us, taking our things, spoiling our things, messing up our places, people who spoil our experiences. We don't like those things um, and those things show that somebody isn't respecting us. And if those things happen to us, we feel lonely, sad, isolated, angry, and it means that we haven't been treated with respect. If we think about values um, generally, we want to move that thinking forward. We need to think about the communities that we belong to. So at the moment, we're in different communities. So we've got our school community, our family, our local community, that's where you're living, and our country. And within those communities, we all have rules that keep us safe. That rule of law that is set up, that's there to keep us um, all safe and secure. 
And being British, being part of the British culture, living in Britain, is about keeping everybody safe and having these values that make us who they are. So we have five that we follow. Democracy, we have an elected government. Rule of law, we have the police, we have courts that put in place um, a range of different powers, different laws that keep us safe. We have liberty, we've got freedom of speech, we can go where we want to, apart obviously from when we're on lockdown. Um, and that is part of um, having that liberty to do what we want and say what we want. What I'm talking about today, this mutual dis respect, is one of the main British values. So we need to be respectful. And that goes with the fifth one about tolerance. So if we're tolerant and if we respect different cultures, beliefs, then we all live together effectively. So mutual respect fits into all the communities that you belong to. You have respect at home, in school, in your local area. You might respect the community by not littering and also within our country. So respect is a, is a key sort of value that we need to adhere to. Think about the opposite of, of respect. So being disrespectful. So someone falls over. Do you laugh? Do you call them horrible? If you see someone you don't like, do you, again, do you call them names? Do you laugh at them? Do you post nasty things about them on social media? That is being disrespectful. And you don't feel then valued. Your self-esteem begins to suffer. And um, that can lead all sorts of to mental health problems, loneliness. And think about, we talked about that sort of mutual respect. You know, think about if you, how you feel when these things happen to you. And then if you do that to somebody else, you're just sharing that, aren't you? And just because it's been done to you doesn't mean to say that you need to go and do it to somebody else. Think about ways that you can show that respect. So that listening, that smiling at someone who you don't normally speak to. I've been going out walking quite a lot during lockdown and everybody that I pass smiles, nods, says hello. And I don't think that happened before. I think people are craving attention, aren't they? They're craving that human contact. And just a friendly smile as you pass by somebody gives you that, oh, you know, there's still people out there for me. If you're online and you see people that aren't joining in, just invite them Invite them in. If you've got neighbours um, you know, in your community, perhaps that are old or cannot get out, again, what can you do to show them that you respect them and, and show that caring side? When we think about our relationship that we're in, they also need to be, have a healthy, respectful relationship. And that's when you feel that you can talk on openly and honestly with each other. Uh, it's not about controlling somebody, making them do what you want. It's about that freedom to be yourself. So, you know, we're all sort of um, on top of each other at the moment in lockdown. Think about those relationships. And if you're in any relationships that aren't healthy and that you feel are not good for you, then you need to sort of speak out. You need to talk openly and honestly with each other and make people know perhaps how their actions or their words are making you feel. So leaving you with that, be respectful. So think about how you interact with people. Think about what you say online. Think about how people can um, misinterpret what you're saying. Now they can't see your facial expressions and see you face to face. Just think about respecting others' cultures, beliefs, values, um, and then everybody will feel a little bit better. OK, so now time for my challenges. I've set three this week, all on the theme of respect. First one is quite easy. Can you give a compliment to someone to show them that you respect and value them? We're opening up teams quite a lot at the moment, and it's really nice when somebody says something positive and complimentary. It gives um, everybody a little bit of boost. Think about how you can respect the environment. Think of perhaps ways, um, small ways that you can save energy, like switching your lights off, don't leaving the TV on when no one is watching. And if you do a little bit, everybody does a little bit, it will make a large change. And the third one is again linked to sort of um, how you come across on social media. 
try and be positive and respectful. It's okay to disagree with somebody, but think about the ways that you are sharing those when you disagree. You don't have to be rude or negative. You can just disagree politely, but still have um, you know, an open and frank uh, conversation. If you use the hashtag AHS respect on any of the Twitter posts, then we can see what you're doing. Meaningful May, we're on the 20th. The 20th says, reflect on what makes you feel really valued and respect and appreciated. If you are um, complimenting people, if you are, you know, speaking respectfully to people, then that's going to make them feel valued and appreciated. So have a go. And that ties in with the challenges set today. Last two slides are just general advice on keeping safe. You all are really good at accessing those people and I know they're supporting you brilliantly. Make sure that if after four o'clock, any of these alternative sites, if you need any support. Thank you, Aldersley. Have a lovely day and let's carry on with that mutual respect and make sure people are feeling good about themselves. Goodbye.